Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield and welcome back to Resident Evil 7. Things last week were very interesting. The last couple of weeks have been really good for these videos. I've really been enjoying this game, it's been loads of fun. But we are now back in the, in the, uh, the wet sloppy shoes of, of Ethan. <laughs> we have nothing but this little vial of Evie's tissue samples. And we need to get back to... Oh, God. Oh, hello. Oh, I thought we were going back to the house. This is some, looks like some kind of oil rig. Or oil refinery or pumping station or something. And what was that helicopter? Was that umbrella? Ooh. Ugh. This ain't nice. Oh, right, we're going underneath. I see. Oh, right, yeah, okay. Through we go. Eesh. Wouldn't want to go in this water. Definitely not. Right. fuck is all that? I don't know, I guess we better go in and find out. Have a crumby salt mine. Oh, it's a salt mine. Right. Huh. Are they watching us from that helicopter? I can barely make out the logo on that, but it looks like it could be Umbrella. I mean, I have a feeling it probably is. Alpha Lim? One, this is Bravo One. Do you read? Ooh. This is Alpha One. Report. Did you find anything? A thorough search of the Baker property revealed zero survivors. Repeat, zero survivors. We did find evidence of a skirmish. Evelyn? Negative. However, we did find several encrypted messages from the Baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. You can probably guess who that was. That's just great. We've had reports he's in the abandoned mine south of the property. I'm gonna go have a look. Roger that. We'll meet you at those coordinates. If you encounter Evelyn, orders are shoot to kill. Repeat, shoot to kill. Okay, well that doesn't bode well for us. We've got strike teams on the way. You've taken me as things. Ooh. Okay. That means we've got... Oh, I see. So we managed to get access to all of our things. Right. What's going to be better, the MPM or... I'm going to go back to my... Was it the M19 was the, the, the handgun I had? We'll re-equip that because I quite like that one. It was a good gun. Uh, yeah, we'll grab our handgun ammo. The enhanced stuff. All of our first aid meds. Probably going to need those. Oh, yeah. Yeah, lots of handgun ammo. That's nice. Machine gun ammo, definitely. Uh, we'll grab the machine gun. Uh, I might take the shotgun as well. Because I've got a lot of rounds for that. A lot of shells. And... I don't know if I'm going to need the survival knife, but... Could be worth taking. I mean, we're, we're at a checkpoint here, so we, we can always come back. I am going to shift some stuff around, because I don't want anything occupying that space. I haven't got any more chem fluid, or... Um, I've got herbs, but I've got nothing to mix the herbs with to make med kits, so we'll leave it at that for now, but we've got the pistol. We've got ourselves a machine gun, we've got a shotgun for some nice explosive close quarters combat. And we we could still go for the uh Yeah, the, the 44 mag, we could still get that. Very nice, okay. I reckon we got a fight ahead of us, so we should probably Ooh. What? Burner fuel. Handy. 
Should I have brought the burner? I'm going to grab the burner just in case I might need it. Because I think I've got a decent amount of f uh, fuel for it. Yeah, I do. 339 there. Yeah, it's a full stack of 500 and a little bit left over. And you know what? I'll grab the remote bombs as well. Because why not load up on fucking everything? What have I got the most ammo for as well? I do have a lot of handgun ammo. I may as well try and use this first. Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> ah, some chem fluid. Ugh. Just want to finish going through everything and finding more stuff that I can use. Alright, let's go and make another med kit. Okay, I think I'm ready to go now. If I find more stuff, then so be it. I'm half tempted to go with the shotgun. I don't know what weapons I'm going to need. Uh, I've got moulded, so shotgun's probably going to be a good start. Don't you think so, fellas? Oof! <laughs> Double barrel goodness! Come on, come on, come here. Pop! <laughs> yeah, you wriggle. Nope. Right. None of them sneaking up behind me, are they? Um. Oh shit, I can't equip it there. Yep. Bad move. Oh god, I didn't kill him. Can we not? Thank you. <laughs> oh, I've got to remember I've got to have it on like one of my hotkeys in order to be able to use the damn thing okay uh, more chem fluid not complaining I'm really not it's just it's just a mu oh strong chem fluid as well no I don't have enough space I imagine that these aren't going to be booby trapped anymore I don't think I'm going to be... I don't imagine I'm going to have to deal with Lucas's bullshit, but... I don't have enough space for the machine gun ammo. But I want it! I want it so bad! Oh... I do have a lot of ammo. <laughs> oh, if Mia could have given me a backpack as well, that would have been great. Alright, you pack that in. Uh, alright. Give me, give me a boop. Boop. Oh, that was very gentle, Ethan. Very nice. <laughs> oh, oh god, we're going down. Oh, of course we are. What's it going to be? Secret underground lab? I think I saw a whiteboard that had, like, mine lab written or drawn on it or something. Which side are we going out? Big question. Right. I don't know, what am I gonna what am I gonna want? Am I gonna want close combat? Close range? Am I gonna want long range? I don't know. Uh Ugh. kickback on this thing is ridiculous. Nothing in there. Nope. Oh, we do have some of Lucas's, uh, Lucas's bullshit. Okay. Well, if I've got molded in here, I'm gonna be wary of molded. I thought I heard something. <laughs> oh! Fuck! Ow! Jeez. Oh, Nice timing there. That was excellent timing. <sighs> oh, a herb. I don't have space. <sighs> of course I don't. 
Can I can I reload some weapons and and maybe make some space? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet is the answer. Oh, I got some machine gun rounds. Oh right, that's just stuff to hold the netting up. Okay. I was curious as to why there were loads of upside down crosses, but no, that's that's actually infrastructure for the cave. Oh, this is eerily quiet. Some remote bombs. Nice. Oh, mag ammo. Okay. I don't need that. Okay. Fucking sneaky bitch. Oh, fucking sneaky a bitch. Ow. Fuck. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I guess we ain't dicking about then, are we? No. Oh, for fuck's sake. Sit your ass down. You bitch. There's one. There's the other one. I know where you're coming from now. You ain't gonna get a jump on me. I mean, you, you still probably will, to be, on, to be honest. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty useless. Ooh, hi. Yeah, <laughs> so useless, I forgot that that was there. That was mag rounds, wasn't it? So, we'll grab these. Where did that mold have even come from? Like, there's nothing here. No way he could have come from. Nailed it. You're getting the jump on me this time. You stop wiggling. I'm half expecting, like, one of these little cave-in areas to have, like, one of those little... nimble moulded come through. Ooh, I don't like that. Oh, fucking hell, I don't like that! No, 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 no. Down. Stay there. Alright, blockaded up this way. Pretty much. I don't think any molded are getting through that. Well, we've got to shove this, haven't we? Go on, Ethan. Doth thou even hoist? Hmm. Thou doth hoist. That big highlighted area is obviously where we want to go. Too quiet. I see more of uh, Lucas's bombs as well. These little explosives, of which he was so fond. Oh, I must miss the silly sod. Okay, I know where we got to go. 
So, all oh right, I see where the wire is for that. Can I sneak under it? <laughs> Fucking ouch, no. Should have popped that one. Aha, there are some explosive boxes around here. Who'd have thunk it? Oh, I'm going to be checking for these bloody tripwires everywhere now. Oh, it's your fucking feet shuffling, Ethan. God. Oh. Oh, is this breaking bad? Oh, no. Friday, January 16th, 2015, 12.42am. Thanks to you guys, it's been about a week since my head's been clear and back to normal, and she still thinks she got me. You guys really need to work on fixing that. Not only does she look like a little kid, but she's about as stupid as one too. Mum and Dad are still totally under, though. I was wondering, is this whole family obsession something you guys programmed into her? It's kind of fucked up. Friday, November 4th, 2015, 2.10am. 2 that bitch Mira is still somewhere between Evie La La Land and reality. She gets pretty violent, so I locked her up in a cell. I thought maybe Evelyn would get mad since Mia's her favourite and all. But she doesn't seem to care. She actually goes and visits her sometimes. She thinks Mia is her mummy. Like you said, like, like I said, your bioweapon is fucked up. Friday, September 1st, 2016. Evelyn's family obsession is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap more and more assholes off the street at a freak show of a family. Maybe she's getting tired of Mia not coming around, but it's a pain in the ass for me to, because I've got to clean up the mess whenever someone com new comes along. By the way, Evie's looking sick or something. Her skin's getting all wrinkly and she's getting grey hairs. Is that supposed to happen? It's almost like she's getting old all of a sudden. Oh, okay. Interesting log. So it's presumably that was somebody working on her project or like one of her sort of... That may be a Ben Allen, like the, the other guy, the, the, care, the other caretaker character. I really can't do anything with uh, freeing up <laughs> bag space at the moment. It's ridiculous. God, I need a backpack. <laughs> I need another backpack. I need, I need a third backpack to put in my other backpack so I can carry more backpacks. Infection report. Ooh. Ooh, okay. E-necrotoxin. E-series dosage test. Ten minutes after dose. Death. That doesn't sound good. Twelve minutes after dose. Cell calcification. Ooh. Five minutes after dose. Vomiting. I'm going to say, like, none of those time frames and the results sound particularly pleasant. Target acquired. D-series thing. E-necrotoxin destroys cells of any subject based on the E-series bioweapon model. Use only for disposal of E-series assets. The toxin must first be stimulated before use. Do this by placing a sample of an E-series cell into the necrotoxin container. This is the same one of the same boxes that was on the ship. And all the stuff inside it was missing. Oh right, so the, the, the photos on that wall are of the the disposal of assets like Eevee. Right. I get it. Ooh. Well, there we go. We got the necrotoxin. Now all we got to do is jabber with it. Ooh. 
It's going to be tough. Research reports. Confidential. Loads of stuff redacted. Okay. Anything else of interest? More research reports. Nothing I can actually read or do anything with. Safe room, though. Oh, brilliant. I can go back and get those herbs. Uh, flame rounds. Nice. Uh, yeah, I might actually switch out the burner. I don't know if I'm needing it right now. I may pack the grenade launcher instead. That's something to consider. I haven't got any uh, flame... Oh, I do have some flame rounds. Nice. And those stack to five, so that's perfect. Neuro rounds. Contains a powerful poison that affects the nervous system. Oh, I can make those. Right. Ah, it's supplements and strong chem fluid. Ah, interesting. Hmm. Right, I'm going to dump the neuro round in here. Oop. I'm going to go and grab those herbs. And we're going to make another med kit. Because I feel like things are going to get dicey quite soon. I want to feel prepared for it. Thought I heard a voice. It's not what you want when you're playing a horror game uh, involving like kind of weird, almost supernatural little girls is hearing voices. No, thank you. Um, I'm also going to dump a stack of the handgun ammo because I don't think I'm going to use the handgun enough to warrant having three stacks of regular ammo and the enhanced stuff. It might be a little bit of overkill. I am going to have that neuro round though. Be interesting to see what happens with that. Is there anything else lying around? I think that's everything. Can I load the um, neuro round in? Will that will that count as like registered? Yeah, that does take it out of my my uh, inventory as well. So I'll do the same with the pistol. Just to oh, okay. <laughs> yep, there we go. Loaded up. That does just kind of reduce the stacks down a little bit, so that's that's something. Right, let's save and move on. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, here's something. Don't like it. Whatever I'm hearing. Okay. I presumably need something to get this door open, don't I? Or am I not able to get this door open? Okay, we've got to go the long way round, I guess. Long way round to what? I don't know. More chem fluid, nice. I don't know what those remote bombs stack to. Ooh, another door. Oh. Yeah, you, you shush. Or, or shut, I suppose. Oh, I can hear her. Where are you, Evie? Oh, fuck, she stopped. I don't know. Die. I'd rather not, thank you. Yeah. Fuck, indeed. Missed. Ah, fuck, 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 fuck. Yep, okay, okay. You know what? That works.
I say, I don't know what's creepier, her singing or her stopping. Oh, I feel like we're getting to penultimate territory right now. We'll stick with the shotgun. We'll stick with this until we run out of ammo, then we'll go machine gun. Oh. Alright, send him at me. <laughs> Fucking hell! Jesus Christ, those things... Oh. I was sure she was going to be sending something behind me, that's why I was being... trying to be cautious, but no. Fucking... nimble bitches. Fuck. Run around, run around, run around. Jump up, jump up, and get down! I am missing the heads, and that is not good. I need to be striking the heads, those are meant to be my targets. Alright, let's quickly heal. Just ensure that we're at full health. Jesus! I feel like that guy was going to get a hit on me regardless of what I did. Ooh. Some ammo. Machine gun, I don't have enough space. Okay. Thank you. I'm going I'm to be falling back occasionally just to make sure that I'm safe from all angles. burner fuel. Why is it loading me up with burner fuel? Why do I feel like I should have brought the burner? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Not letting you get a shot in. You guys are fine. <laughs> Okay, it's not so bad, and the fact that I'm running out of shotgun ammo. Alright, oh, I thought that was something I could collect, something to pick up. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, fuck, of course. Oh, of course you'd be here. Is that... that's two of them. No. Nope. Fucking hell. Right, running. Jesus Christ! Right, Ethan, you need to reload. You need to reload. Ah, oh, This is a bad place to go. This is a very bad place to go. Shoot at your feet, mate. Shoot at your feet. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh. 
Right, move. He's gonna explode. Oh. Well, just about survived that one. All my good meds, all my, like, naff meds have gone. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Little bitch is playing games. Right, I think I've got all of the boxes. I suppose I could have used these to evade them a bit better, couldn't I? It's probably what I was meant to do. Oh, me not knowing the strategies. I'll keep that in mind for next time. Well, now that we've dealt with Doctor and Nurse Waddle the second... Guess we keep moving in. Ooh. Squeeze on through there, Ethan. Yeah! Ooh. Nice! Double whammy! <laughs> mind map. Ooh, mind map! Excellent! I have found mind map. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so... It doesn't show me much, does it? It shows me everywhere I've already been. <laughs> okay. Let's make sure we're all fully loaded. Oh. Yeah, grenade launcher probably wasn't the best choice for dealing with uh, the waddles. I should have been using the remote bombs for that, but eh, lesson learned, I guess. Alright. Moving on. Right. Just one way of getting in. That's Grandma's wheelchair. Was she Grandma the whole time? Oh, fuck you! Shat myself because of that. I recognise this space. This is. Yeah. It's not here. It's gone. It's gone. It's there now. Can't get through that. All right. E001. The whole time it was Grandma. <sighs> Must have been. I want, I want to come in, please. Now we can shut this. Hello, Evie. This is your fault. Why am I seeing this? She's fucking with you, dude. She's messing with your mind. Mm. 
so weird to be back at this this part of the game as well. This 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 location. Up. Ooh. It's okay. It's okay. It's me. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. Kill him, mommy. Oh, but you shouldn't have done that. It fucking hurts. Does it want to be my daddy? Then he can die. How friendly. What? Um. The fuck did she mean by that? So, do I have to fight Mia? I don't want to fight Mia. I don't want to have to kill Mia. <laughs> Fuck you, you little bitch. You're gonna be one of us. And then maybe you'll play nicely. I'm not playing. Mm. No! Get that away from me! <laughs> oh, I was gonna try and shoot. She's real! Fuck! Whoa, whoa, what the f- Not real. Can I? No, I can't pop that. Where am I going? Am I going this way or am I meant to be going up to the attic or something? Oh, this is fucking. This is a head fuck, this is. That noise. That doll's fucking terrifying. I don't like it. Oh, Jesus! Fucking stop it! Oh, you silly cow! Make me waste my ammo. EV, this bullshit has to end. Oh, hi. Stay away. Don't want to. Ooh. Stay. Jesus. All right. Oh, we need a guard. I suppose that makes sense. Right. Come here. Come here. Jeez. Ow! Fuck's sake. Playing these games, Evie. Come here. Away from me. Stop, stop, stop. No, 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 no. Got you. No, no, no. <laughs> you. Uh. It did say vomiting after five seconds. Oh. oh no, that was not nice.
What the fuck? What the fucking hell? Um. Right. What? What in the hell do I do here? I don't know. Stop it. Eyeballs? Nope. No clue. Oh, I don't want to be eaten. Manage items. Okay, we'll try that. We'll I probably don't need the pistol. I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with... Machine gun, shotgun, burner, grenade launcher. And I've got the remote bombs. I've got the best ammos that I can carry, pretty much. I've still got the pistol with me if I need it. But I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. But alright. She almost sounds like Zoe, as well. Nice. Right, I'm going to start with the grenade launcher. I'm going to try and start strong, hopefully. I don't know if I've got enough space here to be able to go with um, remote bombs. But... Again, this may be a poor choice. I don't know what the best strategy is going to be. Ah! Fucking knockback on this is ridiculous. Fuck, reload. Seriously, where do I go? Yeah, I can't run past her. There's no getting through that. I'm going to switch out the remote bombs for the grenade launcher. Because it just gave me a prompt about being able to attach remote bombs to enemies while grappling them. But if I grapple with Evelyn in this state, it's an insta-death. So I don't know how that's going to play out. But we're going to try. Right, I can't get up into the rafters or anything. Oh! Can I? Can I? No, I can't get out through there. Fuck! Right, just shoot her. Just shoot her until something happens. Ah! Fuck it. Remote bombs? No, nope. Told you. Insta-death. Really don't know what I need to be doing here. Burner? Set her on fire? I mean, it wasn't working with the... It wasn't working with the grenade launcher, so... This is having no effect. Fuck off! Oh! She didn't get me. Nope, she got me that time. So what am I doing wrong here? Now try this. Fucking hell. Ooh, wait, what? Okay. This is this is different. This is very different. Okay. Ooh. Whatever. Holy fucking crap. Christ, this is something ridiculous entirely. <laughs> Ow, right, okay. Change weapons. Um, 
Nope, that ain't gonna do it. That ain't gonna do it either. Nope, 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 nope. There's no saving me now. <laughs> Am I getting eaten again? Oh no, this is this is intended. I see. Fucking hell. You ain't getting a family. Ooh, you do an awful lot of yelling, Ethan. I mean, I can understand. Ooh, that looks like a very important gun. It has come out of a fancy box. Okay, thank you. Albert Zero One. Wesker? Come here. Come here. <laughs> Is there a heart for you? No. No, it's done. <laughs> oh, was that it? I think that was it. Okay. You could just you could just leave me here, you know. I, I can find my own way home, thanks. I've got I've got a car nearby. Uh, I hope you don't mind. Um. Hi. Did I save the day? I'm Redfield. Oh, hello. I'm glad we found you. The fuck took you guys so long? <laughs> wow. Ethan? You made it. You made it. I'm glad. Did I? Bloody hope you did. They say that when one door closes, another opens. Well, a door closed tonight. And what a long night it was. But not just for me. Me and I weren't the only victims here. So were the Bakers. It was that thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. But now Evelyn's dead. And these guys are here to clean up the mess. They nuking it? I had just come to terms with losing Mia. But now she's back and wants to start over. Put all this behind us. Maybe this is where the next door opens. Maybe. Oh, nice. I was wondering what was going on. It's just some fancy credits. Oh, wow. This has been phenomenal. Hey. I, I've really been lucking out with some of the horror games that I've been playing recently. And... Man, am I just... 
glad to be going through these experiences and getting to, like, you know, archive them and, and share them for the first time because this honestly is the best part about doing this is getting to play things that I've never played before and find new favourite games, find f new favourite stories and experiences and man, this has definitely been a massive highlight because you know, for me I I've said this several times, you know, when it comes down to horror games, it's never been you know, until I started doing these on a regular basis, when I started doing them for the channel, they never really were, it never it was never really a favourite genre of mine. I never really got into horror games as a kid, and, uh, you know, as a, as a teenager and growing up and stuff. I played some of the early Resident Evils, and I never really got into them. I tried things like, you know, the Silent Hill games, and they just never gelled with me. I, I, I never... You know, it, I, I wasn't able to appreciate the adrenaline and the anticipation, the apprehension that horror games bestow, what, you know, what they're capable of. But ever since I sat down to play Amnesia and to start on this kind of journey of experiencing a new horror experience, series after series, keeping it consistent every every Monday for I don't know how long now. But I'm really glad that I started it, because getting experiences like these is just fantastic. This has been one that's been really hard to put down. It's like some of some of the other horror games that I played have been ones where yeah, I'll be able to. I'll sit down and I'll play them for twenty minutes, maybe half an hour at most. This and Alien Isolation have been the ones that have kind of kept me drawn in as much as they have. Um, Alien Isolation was more because it w it was more on the actual movement side of things. You had to be a lot more careful. You weren't, especially when the Xenomorph was around. You really couldn't run. <laughs> But with this, it's because I've just wanted to keep playing. It's been so good. It's been fantastic. The only Resident Evil I've ever finished has been Resident Evil 4. And obviously that was a big departure from what the series was uh, used to. And it did pave the way for a lot of the, the horror games that came after it. Because I, I, I suppose Resident Evil 4 was the first horror, you know, survival horror game that I ever really enjoyed. And ever really got into and completed. But because of the style of that, it paved the way for uh, my, my love of the Dead Space games. And those, in obviously, they're, they're much more action-oriented than, than some of the other survival horrors that I've played. But they certainly paved the way for, you know, the, the spooks, the scares, the atmosphere, that kind of thing. And... Oh, I don't need that hissing in my ear now. The, 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 the nightmare's over, we can, we can relax, please. <laughs> But it really just did a great job of kind of priming me for more of this. And now that I am I'm just trying to do one of these week after week, I'm, I'm really glad that I'm getting to do this sort of stuff. It's just so much fun. And I hope you guys are really enjoying the, these Horror Mondays because I'm having an absolute blast with them. And I've got plenty more sitting in my Steam library just waiting to go. On the subject of more horror game content to come, that I do have the DLCs for Resident Evil 7 as well. I've been told that not all of them may be worth uh, playing through, like, you know, maybe committing a video to. Um, but I certainly am going to be playing through all of them, and there are a couple that I have been recommended uh, for the best ones, so I will be sitting down to play through those. Um, as as soon as I possibly can. I may chuck another another horror game in between before I come back for the DLCs. They may happen next week. I really couldn't tell you at this point. <laughs> but I'm 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 just so glad that I sat down and played through this. It's been a fantastic experience. I, I want to go back through and and try it on the other end and and save Zoe next time because I've no idea what happened to her. With like, because my thought was, 
yeah, my, my thoughts, I think, at the end of the last episode were because we saw her in the mold with Jack, or in, in that kind of, like, other, other world, other realm thing, that obviously she had been infected and... or corrupted, as they were saying in this game, and Jack was already dead by that point. And we didn't see... But, I mean, so was Marguerite. Marguerite was dead long before that, and we didn't see her. So I don't know. I don't know if Zoe gets out on her own, or if, if she survives long enough for Evelyn's uh, influence over her to, like, be destroyed when Evelyn dies. Whether that's how it works, I don't know. Um, or whether... Zoe is is gone, you know, if, if if because she didn't receive the serum when uh, when I had to make that choice because she was still corrupted, she still had that connection to Evelyn if when Evelyn died, Zoe then died along with her I don't know, that's another potential thing so, I don't know I'm wondering if there may be more answers if I go through it and, and take that option but I'm glad I went down the, the route with Mia, because, I mean, A, you know, Ethan had gone there to go and track her down, to find her, to save her, um, and I'm, you know, so I, I, went, I went with it for that kind of story aspect side of it, but I'm really glad that I did, because we got the whole backstory of Mia and the ship and everything that happened there, and, yeah, that was, that was really good fun. But unfortunately for now, as far as the main story goes, this is going to wrap things up for Resident Evil 7. As I said, I will be back for the DLCs, some of them at the very least. I think the uh, there's some more like videotape stuff or something to do with those. Um, that I, I'm, I think those are the ones that aren't worth going through. There's, there's something to do with Zoe and her uncle. Um, and I think there's one where you get to play as Chris. Um... Well, I wasn't expecting to show up at the end, but that that was cool. Nice to really solidify that tie-in with Umbrella at the end. Ooh. Nice. I like this. <laughs> but man, yes, thank you for for sticking with me through this one. It has been loads of fun. I'm going to say another another thank you again. To my good friend Carl for getting me this, dude. Dude, it's been an absolute blast. Thank you for for letting me have this experience. It's been so much fun, and thank you for all the hints and tips along the way as well. <laughs> I, I wouldn't have got half the stuff um, without some of your recommendations. But yes, I am going to be wrapping this video up here. So I will just say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video. Check out the playlist on the channel for more Let's Plays or Metal Covers, and give this video a like or a comment just to leave your thoughts. And if you wish to join the ever-growing ranks of the Order of the Shield, subscribe on YouTube, check me a follow over on Twitch, or maybe even consider checking out my Patreon and becoming an officer within the ranks. But thank you again for watching this video, and I will catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meat Shield, signing off. Nearly six million? Wow, the depreciation rate on Tyrannosaurus Rex is just, just not what it used to be, is it?